As part of the Paris Motor Show, the American brand Jeep, owned by Stethlantis Corporation, presented its smallest model, the Avenger Crossover, which is also the first mass-produced electric SUV in the history of Jeep. The main market for the Jeep Avenger will be Europe, and it will be available for sale in early 2023. Avenger is a very important model for Jeep, the Junior Crossover could potentially double the sales of the American brand in Europe to about 300,000 cars a year. The Jeep Avenger is based on a modified subcompact French platform CMP, which is also in the future STLA small. The overall length of the Avenger is only 4,080 mm, while there is a 380-litre trunk that is impressive for its class and geometric cross-country ability excellent for a crossover. Ground clearance 200 mm, approach angle 20 degrees, departure angle 32 degrees, ramp angle 20 degrees. With such an enviable geometry for competitors, the Jeep Avenger will enter the market with front-wheel drive, and the all-wheel drive electric version of the 4XE has so far been announced only in concept status. The base version of the Avenger is also electric, with a single motor's electric motor on the front axle, the same one that recently received an updated Peugeot E208 hatchback. The maximum output of this motor is 115 kilowatts, 156 horsepower, and 260 newton meters. The capacity of the 400 volt lithium ion battery mounted in the floor is 54 kilowatt hours. Its full charge is enough for 390 to 400 kilometers of the WLTP cycle, depending on the mileage and equipment. The maximum charging power is 100 kilowatts. It allows you to replenish the charge from 20 to 80 percent in 24 minutes. Dynamic characteristics have not yet been announced. It is assumed that even on a front-wheel drive Jeep Avenger, the owner will sometimes move off the asphalt, and therefore, already in the basic configuration, the crossover is equipped with the proprietary Select Terrain Jeep system, which adapts the driving electronics to the required conditions. There are six modes, normal, eco, sport, snow, mud and sand. In addition, there is a traction control system when driving on a slope, hill descent control. The perimeter of the body is protected by unpainted plastic, and the headlights are recessed into thick frames so that they cannot be damaged in a light collision. For the first time, photos of the Jeep Avenger interior have been published, here the main focus is on practicality. Under the body-colored front panel pipe there is a long open shelf for things. Next to the push-button transmission mode selector, there is a deep 34-liter box with a folding lid, in which the buyer will also find charging connectors for gadgets. The instrument panel is fully virtual, 7 or 10.25 inch. The multimedia touchscreen has a diagonal of 10.25 inches. For the front seats, you can order electric adjustments and massages, and for the trunk lid, an electric drive with kick activation, a wave of the leg under the rear bumper. For the Jeep Avenger, the latest electronic driver assistants are announced, up to the second level autopilot with traffic jam mode. The list of options includes more than a hundred accessories, for example, vinyl stickers on the body, that allow you to give the car an individuality, this list will be updated with new positions over time. The Jeep Avenger will be produced at the Fiat plant in the Polish city of Tihi, from here the crossover will be delivered, including to some Asian countries, for example, South Korea and Japan, but the Avenger will not come to Jeep's native North America. At the start of sales, the electric Jeep Avenger in the first edition will cost about €40,000. In addition to the Avenger, three more electric SUVs will appear in the Jeep lineup until 2025, two of which are already highlighted, these are the American Recon and Wagoneer S.